in the last broadcast, I mentioned several countries that have to listen to this. And I am addressing Nigeria. If the Yorubas and the House of Fulanese will not allow the Igbos to also become presidents, I'm going to tell you what is going to happen. Igbo land another part of the southern side of Nigeria is full of weapons. The war that is going to happen in Nigeria is not going to be like the one of Biafra. They are bringing the war from the south and from the east to the west and to the Sokoto Caliphate. I'm letting you guys know. Now let me address Kenya. If Kenyans, if the Kikuyus will not allow the laws and the rest, I know that Moy is not from any of those places. But Kenyans, in order for you to keep Kenya together, to build Kenya, and not to make these people foreigners to live and no longer invest in Kenya, and for corruption to stop, let the Kikuyus, please, humble yourself. Even if you think you are the most educated and you have the most money and you have the political power, if you are going to keep Kenyans, I'm talking about tomorrow. Because there is something bad that is about to happen to Kenya. There is no prophet in Kenya that can counter what I'm saying tonight. If any prophet try to pray against it, that prophet will die. I'm simply telling you what I've been told. Any prophet that tried to counter what I'm saying tonight will pay with his head. Allow the Kambas, the Tahitas, those from the river areas, allow the Luos, allow the, the different ethnic groups let them be properly represented. It's no longer a matter of the white man. He's in our midst. It's a matter of the white man left you guys a long time ago. Every four years, somebody from another tribe should rule and leave for not until you come back to where he started with another Kikuyu. And then four years Kikuyu four years lower, four years this, until everybody is represented. Except for the small, small tribe that can come together and choose one. Go and look at how Switzerland, a small nation, they rule for one, one year. They don't even speak the same language. It's all border towns of France, border towns of Italy, border towns of Germany, etc., that come together to, found, to form Switzerland. And they are there for just one year. Each person, they produce one person one year and they are gone. And you are taking your money to go and give to the Swiss people to put in Swiss bank for you. The money you steal from your country, you go and give to people who have knowledge. And they become richer. Because it is coming. It will reach a point where Kenyans will be massacring each other. They will be using guns and machetes. And if you think that you are protected, you are not. Because an evil will be introduced into Kenya that nobody will be able to contend. Not even the army. Because the army will betray each other. 
The same thing Republicans and Democrats have been told. Put your house in order in America and they are refusing. They are going to pay a price for it. Since after 1960, only the House of Fulanis and Yorubas have been president in Nigeria. And that has introduced an evil spirit into the nation. Watch it. It's not going to be good for the Yorubas and the House of Fulanis. You may think you have the seaport, you have the airport, you have the Sokoto Caliphate, you have the paramount rulers in Yoruba land, and the rest are nothing. Their sons and daughters of those who are nothing are willing to die, and it will not be. It will not be like the Biafran warfare. Because I am aware of the weapons of warfare that has been flown into that nation. If you like, send all your boys to become soldiers. What is about to happen in Nigeria, we've never heard of it. People will shake their heads. We have TB Joshua. We have, we have Oyedepo. It's about time that you guys step up and sit up. We have Oyakilome. We have Suleiman Johnson, who tried to say something and you guys tried to kill him. And you guys are going to pay a price for it. There's something bad about to happen to Nigeria that anybody who hears it will be afraid of going to that country. And it's coming because of the stupidities of the Yoruba's rulers and leaders and power brokers and the Fulanis and Hausa people. Why can't the Fulani person rule for four years and get out? A Yoruba rule for four years and get out. Somebody from Edo rule for four years and get out. Somebody from TV land, four years, get out. An Igbo man, four years, get out. A Kwaibum, four years, get out. Cross River and Calabar people, four years, get out. Upper Cross River, four years, get out. People from Portacot area, four years, get out. Until it come back. Why? Because you guys have not yet reached a place in civilization where you go for the best. Like we do here in America, even though we are not getting the best anymore. Because anger, the anger of people is boiling. And the day that it will break out, you won't be able, soldiers will not be able to control because the military themselves are right now in Nigeria divided, in Kenya divided. Let's go to South Sudan. Because South Sudan, Congo, Kinshasa, Congo, Brazzaville, these people are going to pay price for being stupid. For a few families, Wanting to remain in power forever is going to blow back on them. Why? Because some of us are asking for what I'm asking tonight to happen. People are crying. And the rest are sitting to enjoy. Like Belteshazzar, whatever his name was, enjoying. The son of Nebuchadnezzar. Even after People from the Congos, you've seen the warfare. You've seen what happened in Rwanda. Those in Liberia and Sierra Leone, you've seen what happened. You've seen the warfare. You've seen the bloodshed. And yet, you don't want to change. I see blood. I see blood. It's coming. Until people will be afraid to become politicians. I see it coming. I see it coming. There was somebody who was trying to be like Putin and doesn't know how Putin did it and how 
He has united the people around him. And those of you who try to be like Putin, you fail. Because you don't really know how he did it. And got the people around him. And you also fail to know that Russia itself is divided. Venezuela, you're going to pay price for it. Tonight is a night of the Passover. When the wicked angels, the death angel, the warfare angels, passes through the land. They, pass, they are passing through the earth. Because God has had enough of our greed. He has had enough of it. Go and look. In Nigeria today, they are having famine. There is no food. People are fleeing from the Congos. Go and look at many nations. Cannot even govern themselves. One family is there. Forever. And they are doing nothing. They are just there. I mean, there are nations where a family comes up and they have done a lot of good things for their people. For example, like the nation of Oman. Go and look at the kind of Islam they practice. It's not the kind of crazy Islam that is practiced in the Arab world or with, by Iranians. It's not. Or by Palestinians. Of hatred. Theirs is a different type. Why don't the rest of the Islamic world learn from the nation of Oman? Palestinians against Jews. Iranians and the Saudis against Jews. Where is it taking us as, as, a, as a universe though? Shading each other's blood for nothing. So do we think that we are still living in the dark ages? Where somebody comes up with scientific theories that will help the world and for politics we don't want it. And knowledge suffers. Certain nations are going to die slowly because they don't want to grow. There's a handwriting on the wall. Check it out. Many of you who are listening to this prophetic service tonight need to rise up to take up leadership in your marriages. Take up leadership among your siblings. Take up leadership in your nation, in your churches, in your businesses. Ask God to give you opportunities to become nations, to become, to become leaders. When people come to you and ask you to be a leader, say yes. Because I fear for the world in which I was born into. Because of what is about to happen. South Africa need to be very careful. Because of the hatred that has been poured against people from other African races. I have not been to South Africa, but the Holy Ghost told me. The hatred against other African people is not going to take South Africa to anywhere. The quicker Zimbabwe begins to mend fences, the better. The Almighty God will spare you and I from the trouble that is coming upon the earth, from the judgment that has been released tonight, from the curse of Jotham, and from the handwriting on the wall, that we be spared. Because there are two things that my father told me, and then God confirmed it. There are two things that are very deceitful in this world. It is money 
and power. They are very deceitful. So if you want to die because of power and money, you lose out. It's not, it's not a funny thing. If you want to know the prophecy for your nation, if I didn't mention your nation, please call me. And if you think that you've been offended by the way I put things across, it's the prophet side of me. I'm just doing what I've been told to do. These are not things that I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to be taking care of the flock God gave me of my partners. But I have to spend this time for God to have his way. I'm not here to offend you because I don't gain anything out of it. It is to warn you. If you will listen and change, then these things will not happen. But if you don't, they will certainly happen. I will repeat. This is a warning. And also it's a judgment. So there are different parts to it. There are things that if you change, you'll be spared. But there are things that has already been determined because of the excessive evil that has been done. So certain things must be punished. There are also certain people that America is not supposed to touch and they've touched those people. There are certain tears that is not supposed to be shed, they've made them to shed those tears. Therefore, God is not gonna turn back. There are certain people that have put their families in the path of punishment and judgment. And that is not fair. This is where the prophetic conference for this season is going to an end. Please all of you pray that God Almighty fill me again with strength and power. I also want to ask you to contribute to our ministry. I also want you to pray for our ministry. Please pray for your nation. Pray for your family. Please pray for righteous rulers to come on this stage, on the world stage. Other nations are scrambling right now to take the position that America used to be. And those who understand where America or your nation is in world prophecy, what God has designed your nation for, the assignment of your nation. Please start that assignment. If you do not know the destiny of your nation, please contact me. Contact me. Go to our website, edikaimary.com or edikaimaryministry.com. Our phone number is 316-665-4400. Please contact us. And I'll tell you the destiny of your nation. Of course, you pay for it. If you want to know your destiny, what you were programmed and called to do on earth, you pay for it, then I'll tell you. And then you go and succeed. God Almighty bless you and be with you. Let him who has ears hear what the spirit of the living God is saying to the nations. Please do not add any more trouble to this world. Enough is enough. Good night. I want to thank you all who participated in this program. I want to thank the new computer allowing us to you stream using you. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to thank the readers 
for tonight. Thank you, Big G. Thank you, Geneva. Thank you, Sister Roslyn. Mighty, mighty people of Idikai Mary Ministry. And I want to thank you, all of you who are watching this. You will see, you will see this global prophecy comes in different parts. I think we have had how many parts did we have? Five parts or so or more. Please watch all of it. Um watch all of it because you are going to see things begin to happen. Be careful out there. I don't want to lose any of you. Good night. This is really serious stuff.